Uh, here's a quick intro to a project I've been working on for quite a while, but it's kind of been on hold for about the last year, so I thought I'd uh, put a demo up on YouTube, see if anybody's interested in it. It's a sequencer with about uh, 10 different instruments in it, um, 16, step, uh, 16 step and multiple patterns depending on how much RAM you've got in your chip. Uh, we've got a, a PIC24 here, uh, we can store patterns on the uh, SD card, a little audio amp here, and uh, an, LC, uh, an LED uh, driver here for handling the, the display of the LEDs and an LCD there, a Nokia LCD for display of track and things. So here we go, have a quick demo. Um, we've got a number of different instruments, classic kind of uh, drum machines, snare drum, different uh, kicks, cymbals, tambourines, claps, classic. So let's uh, build ourselves a pattern. Um, let's start with the bass line. I've got some tracks, some beats already in there. Um, four beats. Uh, start with that. We stop that. We move basically on to the next pattern. Gonna remember how to use the thing, haven't I? Uh, so switch into menu, song length two, and then turn menu off. The interface is a bit rubbish at the moment, basically. But uh, the idea is that you can have the many patterns. I don't know how many patterns I could fit in memory, to be honest. But uh, it could be a lot. And here we are switching from pattern one to pattern two. So pattern two is empty at the moment. There's pattern one. So in pattern one, we'll stay in pattern one and uh, put the bass line into pattern one as well. So we do it with tom drums this time. Let the uh, patterns run one into the other. Uh, not very subtle. <laughs> so let's uh, stay in that pattern. Let's get rid of my toms and uh, put in some kick drums instead. Nice uh, hand claps at the end then. Oh, cowbells, even better. We'll run those in together. It works a bit like a a uh, classic um, drum machine, not that I've ever had one, but uh, you know, 16 steps each LED represents a, an individual uh, step. Um, we can stop and run. Uh, we can also repeat patterns, and we have a menu mode that allows us to use the joystick to uh, control what you know some stuff. I don't really know yet. So we can also speed things up. Oh, and occasionally when you speed things up, uh, you lose everything, and. Uh, now our pattern's empty because the machine's reset. But that gives an ideal uh, opportunity to uh, load um, a pattern in. So we've just load a pattern in from the SD card. Display's a bit screwed up because I hadn't refreshed it properly. Not a particularly good track to load as a demo, but uh, as you can see, in theory it works. Anyway, there's just a quick demo, uh, hope you like it.